Hey everyone, this is MichaelTechniqueTV.com and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on the Hoppa G1196 1250HVR, I believe it is. I don't know, Hoppa G is really interesting names, they're pretty confusing. But anyway, it is a TV capture card that plugs into your desktop via PCI Express interface. And basically you can use a coaxial cable going from a cable box from Comcast, uh, whatever cable provider you have, and connect that to the TV capture card here. And you'll be able to watch TV on your computer through Windows Media Center or Myth TV if you are using Linux. Alright, so let's get started with this. Alright, so here is the package. <clears throat> They're shipped from Amazon and the shipping company Amazon used, since I was using Amazon Prime, is Ensenda. I believe they're like a third-party shipping shipping company that's different from UPS or FedEx. And yeah, we'll also see what kind of a job they did when packing this. Alright, so let's cut it open. Hopefully I did not just cut through anything, because it was pretty thick. Okay, good, I didn't cut through anything. Um, you know what? Well, I also got cable ties. It's a hundred pack of cable ties since I'm going to be redoing the inside of my desktop. But that is not in the review. But you know what? I have to say, Amazon, I'm pretty disappointed. If you look in this box that they shipped it in, there is absolutely no protection at all. There's the box, the cable ties, which don't count as protection, and then there's just the box. And you know what? There's actually a hole in the box that's not even covered by tape. Yeah, you can see I'm able to stick a knife right through here. That is not really acceptable shipping in my opinion and I'm going to tell Amazon about that because with sensitive computer components you cannot risk shipping them like that okay but anyway here it is this is the Hoppagee uh, Win TVR HVR 1250 and the model is 1196 this is a pretty cool box I mean I've never even seen a TV capture card before this is my first one uh, you have the system requirements on the left. You need a processor requirements of 2.2 GHz Intel Pentium 4 or equivalent. And supposedly this supports Windows 7, 32, and 64-bit. All versions of Windows Vista, all versions of Windows XP, and all versions of Media Center. <clears throat> it plugs into your computer via PCI Express X1 or X16 slot. You need a graphics card with 64 megabytes of memory or greater, a sound card, DVD or CD, or whatever. And it says the package includes the WinTV HBR 1250 PCI Express bus card with full and half height brackets. So that is pretty nice if you're going to be using this on a home theater PC it because it comes with a discrete bracket. It comes with a remote control including batteries, so I guess I can change the channel without having to do anything on my computer. Comes with a remote control receiver cable, drivers and WinTV software, CD-ROM, quick installation guide. And it shows you an overview on the back of it. It shows you the connectors. They're analog ATSC and clear QAM TV input. There's a remote control receiver. I'm guessing that's infrared. Is a S-Video composite video input and it also has an audio input for line in and it shows you the TV standards right there NTSC, ATSC, clear QAM and analog TV and <clears throat> clear QAM as far as I understand is digital TV and since the US made the switch to all digital you should be getting clear QAM on pretty much everything 
all says what else you can do. You can watch live TV on your PC. You can use this like a TiVo box. You can actually record your TV programs, which is really cool. I'm going to be looking forward to that. Uh, ATSC Digital TV is free to air high definition for North America. And Clear QAM is unencrypted digital cable. And yeah. Alright, so the box, it's very sturdy. Doesn't seem chintzy. And it comes in uh, shrink wrap, actually. So we'll open this up. Alright, let's open this thing up now. Looks like on the left you can just slide the tab out and they package okay so it's like a separate cardboard box so it does offer some protection but you know it still doesn't make up for how Amazon ships this. Alright so it looks like you just slide this tab out here Cardboard is somewhat thick. It's not, uh, that's kind of cheap. You can tell the cardboard is made in China. And here we go. We have the TV capture card right on top in an anti static bag. <clears throat> now, one thing, the way they shipped this without protection and that the capture card itself was on the very top of the box, that means that this thing was exposed to who knows what, like directly to the capture card. Hopefully it still works. I have a feeling it will, but you never know. Yep, Electro Sag Discharge Shielding Bag. Under here we have what I assume to be the low profile discrete bracket that you'd want to use in a home theater PC. Comes with two AAA batteries and can't tell if there's like corrosion in here or if it's dust from the cardboard. I don't know. But they're like some generic brand that says Universal. Probably just use Duracell Triple A's or something for that. We have I think this is here. This is the infrared receiver. I'm going to you prob I'm going to be put this on my desktop so I can point the remote at this. You'll want to put this in a visible location. And we have the remote, and this bag is actually open. It's pretty cool. It's actually a very nice quality remote. I mean, it doesn't feel chintzy. It has some heft to it, which is nice. It doesn't feel all plasticky. The buttons have some good feel to it. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good remote. And you have the Win TV software. I'm probably not going to be installing this because I'll also use Windows Media Center. Uh, we'll see if I need it though. And this looks like a. I'm not actually sure what this is. I think it is a uh, S video to maybe a video and like analog video. I'm not sure. You know, I'm pretty new to like the cable and capture card scene, so I don't know all the terminology and stuff yet. <clears throat> and then you just have the Win TV HVR1250. And Win TV HVR 1250MC kits. MC, I'm assuming, just Media Center. Tells you what's in it. Uh, what is ATSC Digital TV? How to install it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so that was my unboxing video of the Win TV HVR 1250 Model 1196 capture card. Overall, I'd say the packing was very nice, except for Amazon. You really need to work on your shipping. That was horrible, with no protection at all. Uh, hopefully this card is good, and I'll give you a review on it. And you can probably see that in a few days, after I use it for a bit. And yeah, if you like Technique TV, be sure to subscribe to our videos. If you like this unboxing video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments or critiques in the comment section down there. And yeah, thanks for watching.